you can't hide, we can see your race this time. There's no legal basis for us that I'm aware of. There will be no peace as long as he's on the school board. He has no business being there. He doesn't feel that he's bound by the policies uh, related to executive session. They're not interested in the education of the kids. They're interested in their own self-empowerment, and it's sad. It's the end of an era for the Buffalo School Board, or is it? State Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Elia removed Carl Palladino from the board this morning. But then, within the past hour tonight, Palladino's attorney says they're going to appeal that ruling and they're going to fight so he can keep his seat. If you remove Mr. Palladino, if you remove him, you remove an effective voice on behalf of the taxpayers and on behalf of the, the children of this school district without fixing the dysfunctionality. And so he makes a quick decision. Palladino will appeal the commissioner's 23-page ruling that says he broke education law by publicly disclosing private information about teacher contract negotiations that had been discussed in executive session. The call for removal reached a boiling point in December when Palladino made racial derogatory remarks about President Obama and the First Lady in Art Voice. Just days later, the school board, minus Palladino, faced a fired up crowd out inside Buffalo City Hall and by a six to two vote passed a resolution calling for him to resign. This level of hatred for African Americans should not and cannot set policy for the education of African American children. The push for removal brought both sides to Albany in June where the state held five days of hearings Less than two months later, today's bombshell, Palladino, is off the board. And so the news broke out of Albany just before noon today. Carl Palladino was on his way to the airport here in Buffalo, heading for New York City. And I think it is fair to say he was blindsided by this decision today from the State Commissioner of Education. Now, I managed to get him on the phone before he left town. He says that this was by no means the outcome he had expected, and his lawyers felt the same way. Palladino says there's absolutely no legal precedent for this to have him forcibly removed from his elected seat. Carl Palladino has been a lightning rod for controversy ever since he won the Park District board seat four years ago. After all that has happened, I asked him today. We can start After all of this, do you want to be on the school board? Uh, you know, I'm not so sure I want to be on the school board because I've been fighting from within for four years. We've made very little headway on important things. You know, from my perspective, Commissioner Ilya should have discharged the entire board and, and brought in a special uh, master to operate the Buffalo Public Schools. But obviously, uh, she made more of a political decision, and that's unfortunate. So, Carl Palladino off the board, for now at least. Again, this decision to appeal made within the last 60 minutes. We'll have the latest updates should anything change further. A lot of strong, mixed reaction is coming in from today's controversial decision in Albany. Members of the Buffalo School Board spoke late this afternoon. Well, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan was there. He joins us now live in the newsroom. Josh. Ashley, those six board members who have been calling for Palladino's removal the last eight months certainly scored a big victory with the commissioner's decision earlier today, but not everyone is happy with how the situation played out. Board member Larry Quinn is a strong supporter of Carl Palladino and calls the commissioner's decision a joke. He doesn't think Palladino should have been removed for revealing confidential information and hopes he eventually returns to his seat. But board president Dr. Barbara Seals Nevergold called Palladino a distraction and is happy to begin moving forward. I spoke with Quinn on the phone. He is out of town and didn't attend that press conference today. Whatever the outcome of that, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. You don't undo an election for something like that. It's, it's a, not an important violation, quite frankly. And I think that board members can move on again to um, function more appropriately, more professionally, uh, and work on the issues that we need to work on with respect to the running of this district.
Another Paladino supporter, board member Patty Pierce, also disagrees with the commissioner's decision, but she stood and spoke with other board members today to say she plans to work with them moving forward to help improve the district. Now, the board now has 30 days to fill Paladino's seat. Residents of the Park District can apply for the spot, but the board will vote on a replacement. Live in the newsroom tonight, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.